up ahead to the green. 462 yards this hole is, this par four. Early attempt here for Ollison. Birdied the first part. The second, there you go, two under through the first three for to be on Ollison. We won't lose him out there today, will we? No, it's very nice colour that, isn't it? Eleven birdies so far on this hole. Is he a neighbour of yours, Nicholas? You both live in Dubai these days? We live about 80 yards from one another. Oh, we do. <laughs> yeah. We do, yeah, and we have kids similar age, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 61 yards to go for Ollison. Uh, can he uh, generate the spin needed? Yeah, you can see the difference in the two strikes there, and that's 10 out of 10 for Ollison. Barely a divot, shallow angle, full spin. Well, he's had to wait a long time for this, Torby and Ollison, but finally he gets a chance to uh, putt for birdie here at six. I was thinking the same thing, Dom. I mean, he probably felt the last shot he'd paid was 30 minutes ago, watching his two playing partners making a mess of the short six. Yeah, we're hearing it's a full 10 minutes ago that he played his approach shot. Yeah, a little few ripples on the water back towards where the eighth green is. Shows you it's into the breeze, only slightly though, nowhere near as much breeze as it was the first two days. Up the hill, I got him 139, just finished in the first cut of rough. Nice light. Just wonder if he's clubbed up a little bit, maybe going for an easy nine. Yeah, it looks like it, John. Went down the grip, trying to chop it a bit here, Ollison. Good decision. Yeah, that was three good shots in there. Six wins out of his 278 starts for Ollison. Yeah, great shot in, kept it below the hole, like you say, now he's up into the green. He'd be nice and forceful with this one, just inside right firm. Certainly was, lovely pace on that one. Hollison up into second on his own now, 14 under. Excellent front nine there, 32. We're trying to move this one a little bit from left to right to find the fairway, thread it through the bunkers. This was driver. Be right there, but not going to have a lot of control on that second shot with that short pin on 10. <coughs> well, 78 yards, and, you know, ball sat down, not going to be able to generate spin, so going for height. Yeah, that's a very good result from Mollison actually coming from the rough. This was a great shot in here, pitched at the front edge, straightest putt you'll find on the screen, up the hill. Beautifully done from Ollison. Right in the middle of the hole. Up into a tie for the lead now, 15 under. A big dog leg from right to left here at the par five, trying to dodge the bunkers in the middle of the fairway. Pretty much picked up where he left off, Jung Hun Wang. There he is alongside Loughton and this man, Ullison, at 15 under par. He's a bit further down this 11th hole than uh, Yannick Paul was, John. Football pitch between him and Yannick Paul, that's for sure. He's hit it 341 yards off the tee, 177 down the breeze. This is just a little late, maybe thumping a nine. Stunner from Ollison. Big shot that. Tight for the lead. Got that for an eagle. Well. well, you can give yourself an easier putt here for eagle. Maybe a hint off the left for Ollison. Yeah, the grain just grabbed that one for Ollison. The easiest of birdies. And he moves ahead at the top now. Three in a row. Still got the short par four, 12. Next up as well. So, 12th team, Ollison, ready to go. It's a three wood, and he likes a little draw. That is a little draw. Oh, just misses the bunker. Great shot from Ollison. Well judged. I would say so. I have to say, you know, when we stood on that tee, we were like, nobody's going to hit this screen today, so that shows you how good a shot it was. Ollison for an eagle two here at the 12th. 
fast when it gets over that. Just a little just flat bit on the top there. It's all down grain towards the, the hole. He seems to be putting a lot for Eagle. He does, doesn't I'll he? I tell you what, if you putt for Eagle a lot, you're going to do well. Y you, y yeah, you're going to make your way nicely up the leaderboard, aren't you? That is for sure. Another thing with JP, all the rules officials, if they had ever had a problem, he'd be the person they'd call. Yeah. He's the one, if there's ever a problem on the golf course, while it's happening, they'd be calling JP. Speaking right, Allison. Steady, yeah, that's the bunker you're talking about, Nico. That puts it out of range. Yeah, well said, Yo Slouten in our hearts and minds. John Paramore, who, uh, in case you didn't tune in earlier on, passed away yesterday after a, a fairly long fight against illness, but fondly remembered. Fine shot. Well, as I predicted, he couldn't reach the green out of that bunker. Alison. Oh, did you predict that? I did, yeah. Well, what a shot to hear. This is an eagle opportunity. I got it. This is a double breaker. Right to left, left to right at the end. Uphill, slow as you like. Hit a three with 280 yards up to this point. Yeah, that's a shot of the day for me so far. Out of that bunker with the wood. For our leader. Just shows how confident he is. It's Bill Billing for a little while. He had an amazing weekend in Russell Kaima, so definitely heading in the right direction for Allison. Well, this will be a good birdie for Allison out of that fairway bunker. And it is. Extends the lead. Eight under for his round. 18 under total. Fantastic golf. yards closer 161 yards he's going to try and put that power fade on it like you say hold this one off to this flag Jamie he's in the perfect spot here now Ellison as he just dragged that left uh, not too bad great shot really pin high you'll have to pile on that cream tomorrow John when you're burning up down the hill down the green for Ellison for birdie be a nice little bonus to go to the par three with. I think you take three pars, if I'm honest. Ellison, last th three holes for sure. He'll be taking a lead into the last round. He's done all his work for the day. So he doesn't need to press. Just play middle of the greens. Right, Ollison. He'll fly this down just a little bit. Poke it in there with a nine as well. Follow Yannick Paul in there. It's a fine shot from Torbjorn. Yeah, good chance there for Ollison. He's 18 under at the moment. That will get him to nine under for the day. Yeah, what a chance it is. Looks like it should come from there, but it did after the hole. So have to make two of the three, provided he knocks that in. Ollison for part. It would make it an interesting hole if it was 232 to the front, wouldn't it? Imagine that. Uh, crosswind <laughs> as well. Crosswind. Well, Ollison on the tee. Yannick Poole just went before and he has completely bisected the fairway here at 18. 477 yards, back into a gentle breeze. All the troubles down the left. Yeah, that's a beauty, that one. That's one part of his game. He's got a lot more under control, though, beyond the last couple of weeks. His driving, which was his Achilles before. Work a little draw. It turned into a little bit of a bigger draw. Just don't overcook it. A beautiful little waterfall just coming down that left-hand side. You can easily find yourself in there. You might grip down a little six. You might just thump a seven. safely on board this is for a round of 63 yeah quite a bit of turn this one Dom as well off the right hand side a little free read off of Yannick Paul as it came to an end looks how slow it's going to be up the hill a little bit cracking views from this green 
Yeah, it's a good putt from Ollison. Nice way to finish it off. Now Ollison to wrap it up. Round of 64. There was 64 on a Saturday. It's always an amazing display. Torbjorn, congratulations. Bogey free, eight under par, 64. Six of those birdies out there today came on par fours. It certainly appeared to us that all facets of your game look pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, yeah, overall it was, a, it was a pretty good round. Um, didn't get in a lot of trouble and um, some of the par fours and par fives there, I hit like pretty close and could two putt for birdie, you know, so I made it uh, fairly easy today for myself, which is, which is nice. It's, it's not always like that, you know. <laughs> No, I know that all too well. Uh, top 20 in your last three starts. You've only missed one cut since, since September. You were a winner last year. How much has being a husband and a father given you a fresh perspective in your career? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, um, it's definitely keep your mind off golf sometimes. You know, it keeps you busy when you're home. Um, before that, I could do my own thing. Now I have to look after the kids. And uh, it's, it's been fantastic, to be honest. But my... Um, my partner is very good, and uh, she does a lot of a lot of stuff. Uh, but um, yeah, it's definitely changed my life um, for the better. Well, if I continue doing this job, I'm going to have to learn Danish because you're the first, the fourth different Danish player that I've spoken to this week. Obviously, Thomas is the uh, the pioneer of Danish golf, along with Soren Kilsten. This is your 13th season out here, but it must make you feel very proud and happy to see the Danish flag flying so prominently. Yeah, I mean it's it's unbelievable. Like the last what three or four years there's so many Danes coming up and uh, obviously the twins are a huge talent that have showed that um, already um, but it's very impressive for a country like Denmark you know it's it's not ideal with the weather um, only five and a half million people but uh, I think we're good at like really grinding it out and when you have goals and and and, uh, and you work hard for it it pays off so, so um, it's very impressive and something I'm proud of also well, you should be proud of the way you grinded it out today. Good playing and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Appreciate it. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.